the presidential race might still be a little too close to firmly call or safely call. Plus the electoral college isn't going to vote for a couple weeks anyway, but there is one thing we know about the outcome of the 2020 presidential race. And that is that Kanye West definitely did not win, but Kanye West did manage to pull in roughly 60,000 votes, 60,000 votes. And when you, you look at some of these uh, swing states that start to go for Biden by very small margins. And you start to think to yourself, if you're a Republican, did, did, did Kanye West actually cost Trump the election? Cause they had wanted Kanye to run cause they thought it was going to siphon part of the black vote away from Joe Biden. But it may actually be looking like Kanye West was siphoning off Republican voters. Who knows? One thing we also know is that Kanye West has now already hinted again, we're, we're two days removed from the election and we don't even have a clear winner yet. And Kanye West is already out there talking about, I may run again in 2024. Folks, listen, just because you have money, just because people know who you are, just because you're famous, just because you've made some music that some people like doesn't mean you have the qualifications necessary to be president of the United States. Now I know it takes a certain amount of arrogance to run for president. It truly does. And that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying that as if it's some kind of negative trait. Sometimes arrogance is absolutely good. You need confidence. You need to think I'm the biggest and the best there is out there. And I'm the only one who can solve these problems. But sometimes there's a little too much, right? And we saw that with Donald Trump over the last four years. You know, that was arrogance that reached a clinical level. You know, look it up in the DSM five and you're going to find his level of narcissism in there, just like you would with a Kanye West. Now, I don't think Kanye West ever has a shot at actually being president of the United States. Then again, five years ago, I was saying the same thing about Donald Trump and well, here we are. So who knows? As I say all the time, Americans, when you put us all together collectively, we're not smart. We truly are not. And it hurts me to have to say that, but we're just not individually. Heck yeah. We're great. And you put us in some group think situations and wow, it dumbs us down real quick. Maybe we are dumb enough to vote for Kanye in 2024. I, for one, don't want to start thinking about 2024 yet, but unfortunately in this industry, we have to. And Kanye is not necessarily the biggest threat. We have real people who might even be worse than Donald Trump out there. Like for example, his son, Donald Trump Jr. Who's been kind of pushed towards the 2024 run Republican Senator, Tom Cotton, Republican sneakier Senator, Josh Hawley, and a whole host of other Republicans, Nikki Haley. Her name has been floating around. We're going to start hearing more and more about these as much as we don't want to. It's already started. The 2024 cycle is here, even though the 2020 cycle is not done yet. We got to start thinking of these people. We got to start exposing these people. We got to start paying attention to these people, but we also can't underestimate people like Kanye West. Yeah. He got 60,000 votes this year. Ooh, not even close, right? Americans have made some really, really horrible choices, uh, at the polls. So even though he may seem like a long shot, he may seem ridiculous. He may seem too narcissistic for his own good. Knowing what we know about the American public, we unfortunately have to take Kanye's threat of running again in 2024, especially now that he has four years to plan it. We have to take that very seriously. And that is exceptionally sad.